Hello everyone! This is Teacher Jinky once again and welcome back to my math class. In this video, you will learn about division. And to realize this, we need to target and learn these skills. Illustrate division as repeated subtraction and find the number of equal groups. What is division? Division is a repeated subtraction. It is also a method of distributing a group of things into equal parts. Let's illustrate division as repeated subtraction. Let's look at this. Mr. Santos has 20 sheep on his farm. He keeps them in pens. Each pen has five sheep. How many pens are there? We will group five sheep so 20 minus 5 equals 15 so there are 15 sheep left next let's group another five sheep so 15 minus 5 equals 10 we'll group again another five so 10 minus 5 equals 5. Then, we will group again the other 5. So, 5 minus 5 equals 0. So, we did the repeated subtraction. There's another short method to solve this, and that is using division. Let's look at this division equation. 20 divided by 5 equals how many groups of 5 sheep can you see? Correct. 4 groups. So, we call 20 in that division equation dividend and 5 is called divisor. Our answer in division is called quotient. So, final answer how many pens are there? There are four pens in all. Another one. Mrs. Cruz buys 16 roses. She puts four roses into each vase. How many vases does Mrs. Cruz have? Let's count four roses and put it in the vase. So, 16 minus 4 equals 12 roses left. Let's count another 4 roses and put it in the vase. 12 minus 4 equals 8 roses left. Next, group another 4 roses and put it in the vase. So, 8 minus 4 equals four roses left. We'll put another four roses in the vase. So four minus four equals zero. So we did repeated subtraction. This time, we will use division. Here's our division equation. 16 divided by four equals how many vases does Mrs. Cruz have? Let's count. One, two, three, four. So, the answer will be 16 divided by 4 equals 4. So Mrs. Cruz has 4 vases. How about this? There are 15 pencils. Carl puts them equally into three pencil holders. How many pencils are there in each pencil holder? Okay, let's distribute the pencils. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 
15. Here's the division equation. 15 divided by 3 equals how many pencils are there in each pencil holder? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 15 divided by 3 equals 5. So there are 5 pencils in each pencil holder. This time, let's find the number of equal groups. There are 30 mugs. Box group of 5. So let's count 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And box. Another 5. And then box. Count another 5. Then box it. And then box. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Another 5. So how will we write? The division equation for this, 30 divided by 5 equals how many groups of 5 mugs can you see? Yes. So, final answer, there are 6 groups of 5 mugs. Another one. Lisa brought 18 candies to school. She gave 3 candies to each of her close friends. How many close friends does Lisa have? So we need to count three candies and then box. Another three to box. Count another three and then box. Box another three. Box another three. And box the last three. So let's now write the division equation. 18 divided by 3 equals how many groups of three candies can you see? Yes, six. So how many close friends does Lisa have? Alright, Lisa has six close friends. Sal has 32 apples. He gives his friends four apples each. How many friends does he give his apples to? So let's count four apples and then group them. Another four, count another four, group another four, group another four, and then another four apples again, and then box, and four to box. Here's the division equation. 32 divided by four equals how many groups of four apples did we make? Yes, there are eight groups of four apples. So, how many friends does he give his apples to? He gives his apples to eight friends. Okay, remember children that we use division when we are sharing things equally and when we are finding the number of equal groups. That's all and thank you for watching.